This has been a wild year in tech. I feel like it's been, we've been put through the ringer the last year, last two years with so many different tech innovations coming out, so many different places we should put our focus. Where do we even begin? So I'm going to share with you today what you'll actually need to learn in 2025 to stay ahead of the tech curve and also to why it matters to do so. Here's something wild. By the end of 2025, the way we interact with computers will be completely different. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Now I want to take you back a sec. In 1985, most people thought computers were just fancy calculators. By 1995, they were connecting this to this thing called the internet. Now, 2000, well, not now, but 2005, everyone had a flip phone. 2015, everyone had a smartphone, which really changed everything. But here is what fascinates me. Every decade, we don't just get better technology. What we do get is we fundamentally change how we interact with it. And right now, we are at one of those key moments. So let's dive into the top five things we should be learning in 2025. First one is multimodal AI development. You know how your phone can understand your voice, read your text, and recognize faces? Well, that is just the beginning. In 2025, AI systems will work more like our brains, processing everything at once. I mean, think about it. Think about how you understand this video right now. You're not just hearing my voice or my words, you're seeing my gestures, reading the text on screen, understanding it all together. That essentially is multimodal AI. Let me show you something wild. See this BMW factory? They've built an AI system that works just like your most experienced mechanic. It's watching for tiny defects in cars with cameras, listening for weird engine sounds, you know, the concerning stuff that happens in a car, and simultaneously reading through thousands of maintenance logs. Last year alone, this AI predicted failures so accurately it saved BMW $10 million. That's essentially multimodal AI in action. Not just seeing, not just hearing, but understanding everything at once just like you and me. So we are all big learners here. We wanna stay ahead of the tech curve. Where do we learn this? One is deep learning AI has a multi-model machine learning course. Another is Stanford's CS231N, which is for computer vision. And the last one is Fast.AI's practical deep learning course. So why does it matter to learn this? Every major tech company is building multimodal AI in their projects, from social media, Spotify, YouTube, everything. They're all using AI that can understand multiple types of content at the same time. And this is going to really set you apart in the job market. Number two is quantum ready programming. Okay, now this might sound a little bit scary, but stay with me here because I promise it's actually really fascinating. Quantum computers are coming, there's no doubt about that, and they're going to break a lot of things. Potentially, let's just say potentially here, including most of our encryption ways that we encrypt things right now. I mean, that's skeptical, but it's pretty possible. But here's the cool part. Quantum computers won't just break things, they'll help us solve immense problems that we can't even approach today. Things like designing new medicines or predicting climate change, or maybe even better yet, how to solve, if it's possible, climate change. Okay, now check this out. Remember Moderna, the vaccine company? They're using quantum computers to do something incredible. They're simulating how proteins fold, which basically means watching molecules dance in ways traditional computers simply can't see. They've cut their testing time by 60% by partnering with IBM Quantum to make vaccines even faster, which is pretty cool. And here's the cool part. They're not just using quantum computers, they're building new security systems to protect patient data from future quantum hackers. That's pretty wild, right? And it makes me very happy that they're thinking about the hacking parts of it. So if you are interested in quantum computing, here are a few places that you can learn more about it. One is IBM Quantum Learning Path. This is a great course, it's, it's really interactive. Another is Microsoft's Quantum Development Kit. A third is QWorld's Bronze, Silver, Gold Training Program. So why does this matter? Companies are already preparing for Q-Day, if you will, where quantum computers can break current encryption. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Google are all hiring quantum-ready developers now. So this is something that if you want to stay in demand, not only in 2025, but for a very long time in the future, quantum computing is where it's at. And there are so many great courses online, some that we just listed for you to learn from. The next one is extended reality. Okay, I need to take these off because we need to actually have a talk. <laughs> but I've been really loving the Apple Vision Pro, by the way. It's, I, I made a full video using this and the new MacBook Pro with M4 Pro chip. It's so good, it's, they're amazing. Anyways, back to the point. I had to get some props in here, all right? 
Remember when phones were just for calling people? I know, it seems like forever ago. That's where VR is right now. We're able to see spatial computing change, everything from how we work to how we shop, but it's really just at the beginning. Let's use a real world example of how this is really used. Ikea just revolutionized how we buy furniture and it's not with a better catalog. Imagine pointing at your phone in an empty living room, right? And AI instantly suggests furniture that fits in your space and style. That's really cool and it's a very good use case. Then with Vision Pro or Quest 3, you can literally walk around your new virtual uh, couch, get to see the color of it, feel it, it's so cool. And returns are down 40% because people actually know what exactly they are getting. This really is the future of shopping and the future of technology bringing, merging these interactions together for customers. Here are some learning resources if you want to learn more about VR, AR, all of the above. One is Unity Learn XR Development Path. Another is Apple Vision Pro Development Course. This is a really good one in my opinion. And another is Meta's Presence Platform Tutorials. They have a ton there. So why does this matter? I mean, when you really think about it. Well, one, Apple's Vision Pro launch showed us that spatial computing is the next computing platform. Companies like Walmart, BMW are all using it for training and design. And this brings us to our fourth point, our fourth technology to learn. This is fascinating, this one, which is edge AI in tiny machine learning. You see this tiny chip? It can run AI models that used to need an entire server room. That's edge AI, and it's changing everything. I know I say that for all these technologies, but they truly are. Everything from smartwatches to factory robots. But here's what really blew my mind. Here's a real world example of it. John Deere, the tractor company, put AI into tractors that's smarter than most computers from five years ago. These tractors can then spot crop diseases instantly, work without internet, and process a terabyte of field data daily. That's like streaming 200 HD movies all while farming. And the result is 30% less pesticide was used. That's not just good for farms, it's also good for all of us. Edge computing really is starting to make quite a bit of waves in technology and in this space. And I think it's going to be a huge area, a huge potential place for you to grow your career. So here are some learning resources. One is Edge Impulse Foundation course. Another is Tiny ML Specialization on Coursera. Coursera has great courses. And a third is Google's TensorFlow Light Tutorials. And this matters so much because by 2025, there will be over 7 billion IoT devices. Each one needs AI that can run constant and efficiently with cloud connection. Sorry, I had to really think there because that, the stats are just wild. They're really incredible. Edge computing, that's another area you need to get into or at least understand. Okay, we made it to number five, which is advanced LLM operations. You know there had to be a bit more AI in here, all right? Remember when everyone was talking about ChatGPT? Well, as we all know now, that was just the beginning. The real revolution is in customizing these models for specific tasks. Here's a real world example of this. The Mayo Clinic built an AI assistant that is transforming healthcare. It helps doctors write patient summaries, suggest treatments based on medical history, and has cut documentation time almost in half. But here's what makes it really special. It's custom, trained on their medical records and uses reg to always stay accurate. This isn't general AI, it's AI that's becoming as specialized as doctors using it. Here are some good resources. One is Anthropic's developer documentation. They have great documentation for you to start building with. Another is OpenAI's fine tuning course, Hugging Face's LLM engineering course, and there are so many other ones out there. This is a really great opportunity. You didn't miss the wave for AI. It's just continuing to evolve, really. Understanding how customize or how to even use and deploy customized LLMs will be as important as knowing how to code. It's really changing everything. And here's what's really exciting. These are the technologies of the future. So if you are interested in taking your career to the next level, making you be able to stand out on your resume or just curious about what to, maybe you're a forever learner like me and just want to spend a lot of your time learning, these are where you should be spending your time. I am so excited for the future and it's moving so quickly that the things we will see in our lifetime, it's gonna get wild. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you like these styles of videos where we dive into not only the top technologies or top things to learn, but also real world examples as to why they are so impactful and then share courses that you can directly start learning from. All right, I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.